Hey guys, today I'm here with Tina Hopper, author of carrotsandcake.com, a healthy living blog with recipes and workouts. And Tina is gonna be sharing with you guys a CrossFit inspired workout. So Tina, how long have you been doing CrossFit? About two years. And you're a certified level one instructor. And since you started, how have you noticed CrossFit has changed your body? I'm just a more well-rounded athlete now. I used to run and run and run and I was great at running, but now you know I can do pull-ups and push-ups and Olympic lifts and rope climbs. And I'm just a better well-rounded athlete. And CrossFit also has that community element where you're working out with almost like your second family, it seems like for many people who enjoy CrossFit. So if you guys want to find out what an AMRAP wad looks like, get ready because we're going to do one right now. So this workout you can do at home. You don't need a gym. You just need one kettlebell or a dumbbell if you don't have one. It's an intermediate workout and I'm going to be showing you guys some of the beginner modifications. So if you're a little bit more advanced, watch Tina. So Tina, this workout or wad as they say, workout of the day in the CrossFit world has three movements. What are they? Um, three movements for this workout are kettlebell swings, goblet squats, and burpees. And this is an AMRAP 10, so we're going to do as many rounds as possible of those three movements in 10 minutes. And for those of you guys who just heard what the movements are, you might be surprised with some of the modifications because they have a little bit of a CrossFit flair. So Tina's going to show us how to do them with that little bit of a spice to it. All right, so Tina, first move. The first move is kettlebell swing. So I feel like a lot of people have done this movement before. And we also have a friend here. <laughs> <laughs> so the, My the whole dog. point of this video is you can do this workout at home and you can even do it with your puppy. So carry on, sorry. <laughs> Kettlebell swings. So with this movement, you want to start with your hips, um, shoulder width apart, toes pointed out slightly. And when you're swinging, it's not, it's an arm movement, but it's more of a full body movement. You want to push your hips back and then pop up with your hips and swing up. And you want to come full overhead. So that's the one thing about CrossFit versus regulars. I feel like you don't always come up overhead. So do you do this for all CrossFit um, kettlebell swings? Um, a lot of times it is the full overhead, but sometimes we'll do the Russian swings where it's only half. Okay. So you only come to here. But for this workout, we're gonna go all the way up. And feet are wider than hip width distance or? Yeah, maybe a little bit. All right, next move. Um, goblet squat. So you're gonna take your kettlebell, flip it upside down and you're just gonna squat down. And for this movement, you wanna make sure your chest is up. You don't wanna fall forward. You wanna make sure you're straight up and down as much as you can. And you wanna squat below parallel. That's another CrossFit standard. So your hips wanna go below parallel when you squat and then come back up. And so since this is an AMRAP, people are trying to go as fast as they can. Mm -hmm. So can you show us a little, a little flavor of how fast <laughs> you can go? Some people go really fast. I guess I'm going medium fast. Okay, cool. Just so you guys at home know, we're gonna go through it after we show you what the moves are so you can see how fast we actually do. <laughs> All right, so third and final move. Burpees. So if you don't know how to do a burpee, jump down on the ground, touch your chest, come up, and jump in the air and clap. So the difference with this burpee is that she's actually bringing her chest down to the ground, which is not something I feel like is you know universal. So for this wad workout, or I guess that's saying workout of the day workout, for this wad, you're gonna be coming down all the way on the ground and then clapping overhead. So for this workout, how many reps are we doing of each move? So for this workout, we're doing 15 reps of the kettlebell swings, 12 reps of the goblet squats, and nine burpees. Okay, so you guys are gonna do 15, 12, nine. You can write it down so that you remember. You're gonna do that one time through, and then without resting, you're gonna start back at the top. So if you do all three of those reps for the recommended number, that's one round. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see how many you can do in 10 minutes. Are you guys ready? We're gonna see how many we can get and I want you guys to let us know down below what your score was. And we're going. Oh, my booties. So I finally just caught my breath and I got through four rounds and Tina, you beat me I think. How many did you get through? Five, five rounds. So definitely being the CrossFitter out of the two of us, you could tell. Um, and it was a lot harder than I thought. You're gonna be dying after about two minutes when you realize you have eight more. So if you have any other questions about CrossFit, we have another video featuring five of the most frequently asked questions about CrossFit with Tina. So go check that out. Annotation's gonna be somewhere around here, you'll see it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out Tina's website, carrotsandcake.com. We'll see you soon.
Hey Murphy, you're looking right at the camera. You're such a ham.